Part 9 3.0 Meanwhile, Mighty Eagle was still carrying the eggs with Chuck, Bomb, Fly, and Zack holding on while trying to avoid the pigs flying in their airplanes. There's got to be a way to stop those hogheads! I know what I gotta do. I gotta blow up that ramp! And that would be a good plan if you were good at blowing up! I need to stop those planes! Remember me, Chuck, Fly, and Zack! Remember me! Then he let go of the net. Bomb's away! Bomb bounced off several planes before landing on the wooden ramp. Meanwhile, on the ground, Matilda, Bubbles, Stella, Mime, and other birds were surrounded by the pigs. Oh, hi there! Here, chicky, chicky, chicky! This little piggy popped! Fired an egg fireball at one, of the, at one group of pigs. This little piggy exploded! Fired another one at another group. And this little piggy went, Wee, wee, wee! I want my mama! Fires on one single pig, sending him flying through the air. Woo! <laughs> she chuckled as she gave a simple shrug. Meanwhile, back on the ramp, Bomb tried again and again to get himself to explode. Come on, Bomb, you can do this! Blow up! Blow up! Then some more piggy planes began to come out of the hangar. Uh-oh. One of the pigs laughed evilly. Oh, no. Then he began thinking. Think explosive thoughts. Uh, surprise parties! The pigs began to go down the ramp straight towards Bomb. Yoga poses! The pigs came closer, faster! Then Bomb, very angrily, as his blue eyes turned red and his entire body began to form a force field of energy about to explode. Pigs and airplanes! Kaboom! And just like that, the ramp was destroyed. <laughs> I blew up on purpose! Back in the dining hall, Red and Indigo and Leonard were still dangling on the chandelier. You're both wrecking my house! What's wrong with you two? You wrecked my house! Your house was ugly! Well, now we're even. Then suddenly the chain holding the chandelier broke! The three of them were fa went falling with the chandelier through the floor. First they fell past a floor where a pig with a stack of sandwiches was about to eat them. But then he watched as his sandwiches got destroyed by the falling chandelier. Aww. Then we see a second floor where we see a pig at a bowling alley and his bowling ball was almost toward the gutter when the chandelier fell to the floor causing all the pins in all the lanes to fall over. Strike! Until finally Red, Indigo, and Leonard on the chandelier, Lennon on the last floor, Lennon through the last floor as our camera views, as our camera screen view blacks out from the chandelier falling on top. Back outside, run, run! But then suddenly they saw a big truck coming towards them. Guys, look out! The truck skidded to a stop in front of them. Everyone stand back! A little machine gun poked out of the truck and looked like it was a it was going to aim at the group of birds. Then the window rolled down to reveal it was actually mm. Terrence. Terrence gave a thumbs up. The birds quickly got into the back of the truck. Put on your seatbelts, everyone. Trust me. Matilda and Stella shut the doors. And, and soon Terrence quickly drove the very big truck away from the pigs. Back inside the castle. Oh. Well, Indigo, this is dynamite. Red stood up. 
they saw that they were in a huge room filled with millions of sticks of dynamite and boxes of TNT. Whoa, I'll say. Indigo tried to stand, but moved his right back wing a bit. Ow! Uh, uh. He fell over in pain. Indigo, are you all right? Uh, no, I think I hurt my wing. Oh, no. Don't worry, Indigo. Red picked him up gently. We're going to get out of here as soon as we find the... Oh, there you are. But just as he ran toward the egg... Not by the hair of my chinny-chin-chin! Leonard grabbed the egg. No! Give it back, you monster! Leonard grabbed a candle and put it under the egg to cook it. Delicious bird, eggy-waggy. Ooh. You can't eat eggs! What are you gonna do? I'm a foodie! Then Red looked up and saw that the giant pot was going to fall into the huge hole. It's over. You and your little blue brat are finished, eyebrows! <laughs> Red felt his anger growing as voices filled his head. Eyebrows! Someone has anger issues. But just as he was about to lose his temper, he remembered what Judge Peckingpod told him. Anger is not always the answer! Then Red instantly exhaled as he calmed down. Red? Don't worry, Indigo. I got this. Red winked at Indigo, knowing he had a plan. Indigo smiled. He trusted Red fully. Red gently put Indigo down and then looked up at Leonard. Well, you know what? I guess you win. What? The pot was closer to the edge. That was an awesome plan. Mile lower. <laughs> really? Well, thank you. You know, a lot of hard work goes into my sinister plans. It does. <laughs> the pot soon reached the edge and began to fall. <laughs> no, I mean, your plan was great. But you didn't plan for this. This, he pulled away a box of TNT. This caused some dynamite to come loose under Leonard's feet and he fell out. Then Red charged at Leonard and grabbed the egg as he, as the candle slipped out of Leonard's hand and ignites three sticks of dynamite. Oh no! Red! <sighs> come on, Indigo, we need to get out of here. Try flying to me. You can do it. Uh, I'll try. Indigo began to flap his wings. Ow! No! No! I can do this! I can! Uh, uh. He flapped his wings even harder despite the pain. I'm coming, Red! Uh, uh. Indigo flapped his wings as hard as he could until finally he landed right on Red's back as his little hands grabbed hold. I did it! Uh. Great job! Now hold on! Red hurried as fast as he could to the top with both Indigo and the blue egg as Leonard followed close behind. The pot fell through the floors. Finally, Red and Indigo made it to the chandelier as they climbed onto the rock. You two have annoyed me for the last time. Yep, as he held both Indigo and the egg close to him. The pot fell onto the rock of the chandelier, covering Red and Indigo as the egg landed and the egg safely. Huh? No! Explosions went off all around Leonard. Outside, the whole castle exploded. Faster! Wow! Soon the whole city got swept by a tremendous explosion. Just as the birds, Prudence, the pigs, and Mighty Eagle all ran for their lives. And soon the birds, Mighty Eagle, and a few pigs, including Prudence, just escaped in the nick of time. 
The birds and Mighty Eagle came back to the hill. Cramp! Cramp! He let go of the net safely as he flopped to the ground. It's him! Look at that! Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Is that Mighty Eagle? It's him! Wow, this guy looks nothing like his statue. Yo, dogs, we got the eggs! Honey, <gasps> our eggs! They're all okay! Soon all the eggs were given back to the rightful parents, and they were both very happy to have them back. Well, all except one family. Wait! Wh where's ours? Bomb, are you okay? Chuck, my man, did you see what I did back there? Yeah, that was epic, dude! That really was so awesome, Bomb. You know, if you ask me, you're pretty lucky to have explosion powers. Oh, this egg is a spitting image of you. Eh, <sighs> safe and sound. But the Blue family was very sad. Then, an, then a small explosion could be heard, and everyone turned to see if there was no sign of red or indigo. Where are they? Red. Indigo? <gasps> oh, no! All there was was just the destruction of Pig City. Ugh! Ugh! Oh! think they might be dead. The birds sadly began to walk away as Chuck, Bomb, and Fly and Zack began to cry. We then see the pot was completely empty. But then... Coming out from underneath some rubble and wood planks was both Red and Indigo still miraculously alive, both covered with ashes and soot on their bodies and coughing. And poor little Indigo was still clinging on to Red for dear life and trembling with fright from the experience. Daddy! Everyone turned around and were so happy and relieved to see Red and Indigo alive. They're alive! Hallelujah! Oh, thank goodness! All the birds rejoiced. They're alive! Red and Indigo both looked at each other. Both were more than relieved to see that the other was all right. Then Red picked up what seemed to be just a cracked blue eggshell. <gasps> what? as he pulled the plunger off his beak. But then, three small baby blue hatchlings peeked out of the broken eggshell, unharmed. Red smiled at the hatchlings. Aw, they're alive too! Chuck and Bomb, Fly and Zack, came running down the hill to them. Red, Indigo, you're alive! I thought you both died or defended to the pig side! We really thought you guys were goners! Thank gosh you all survived all that! Hey, buddy, we'll not be dead. You too, Indigo. <sighs> it's good to see you guys. Yeah, I'm, we're really happy to see you all again. Come on. So they, read, re, so they led Red and Indigo with the three blue hatchings all the way back to the top of the hill as everyone all cheered and congratulated them. Indigo's wing was still hurt, but he didn't mind that much anymore. He was just happy that he and Red had saved the eggs and survived. Then they both noticed the blue family looking so very sad, so Red and Indigo decided to go over to them. Sir... Ma'am. They both turned and gasped when they saw their newborn young. Skye's eyes lit up with both relief and adoration at the sight of her three new little brothers. I think these belong to you. We both saved them. 
Olive took the eggshell and laughed, nearly crying as she held her precious babies in her arms. Thank you both. Yeah, thank you guys. Red and Indigo just smiled. Oh, Crimson, Cerulean, Woody, Ash. Who? Is he talking to us? You learned your lessons well. Come on, bring it in. He hugged them in his arms. Yeah, not, not, yeah, I'm not really the affectionate type. Mighty Eagle grabbed a hold of him and placed him in a hug with the others. Uh, careful, my wing. Okay, does this feel like this is crossing the line to anyone else? Yep. Nope. Then he let them all go. You're my prized pupils. Your prized what? Oh, don't you see? I had to make you lose faith in me so you could learn to have faith in yourselves. Huh? That's really not how it felt. Tell them, Rosie. Yeah, I don't think that's what happened, man. Oh, look. He's blushing. <laughs> I'm not blushing. I'm just red. And all the birds laughed with joy. <laughs> okay, who wants an autograph? Our view pants up to the sky.